So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the actual fitness test. But I need you to wear a heart rate monitor. So with this strap here, it needs to go underneath your top and around your chest. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water on. This will help with the conduction. So it'll maybe be a little bit cooler. So you can stick that on. Okay, so just a bit. It's a perfect position. Thank you. And then what I'm going to do is just get this watch started. And we'll see what your heart rate is. Great. It's only 70. Okay, right, so what we're going to do first is your blood pressure. Okay, so basically what you do is get done. Let's make you put this on. And it will feel a little bit tight, but don't worry, it won't last too long. So what I'm doing is I'm just actually placing some of your arm just to make sure that the arrow here that's back right over the artery is here, so I can hear it. And you just relax. No problems at all, right? It's a hundred over seventy. Really good blood pressure. It's actually quite low. There's no problems with that. The normal is about one to twenty minutes. Body fat analyzer. Again, you start out with weighing yourself. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually come down and you're going to press the middle button. That's going to clear or initiate the numbers and give you a zero. Now I'm going to enter as a guest for my demo purposes and it's going to allow me to set everything up for myself just as a guest. So I'll press guest first and it's going to ask my age. So I'll take it up to 31. And then it'll give me some symbols, whether I'm a male or female. Set after that. And then your height. And this one doesn't give you quarter. It just gives you a half or full inch. And that's it. Once it does a double beat, you can actually step upon the scale. Dun, 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 dun. And it's going to tell you the numbers first, but don't move. Then it's going to tell you the estimated body fat with a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown, 31%. That's higher than the other one. But I'm not worried. So you have your weight, your body fat, and you use that again as your estimate. Then in about four to five more weeks, I would say do it all again. Try to do it the same time of day, the same location, making sure you use at least four to five weeks to track so you won't make yourself too nervous and you won't be overwhelmed by the numbers. That's it. All right, Carrie, today we're going to measure your body composition in this machine called the Bod Pod. What the bod pot does is actually measure your body volume, and that's why we have you in, in tight-fitting clothes. We're also going to put a swim cap on you so that your hair doesn't uh, trick your body volume or we get an accurate body volume. We're also going to weigh you and find out how much you weigh, and that will give us a body density. Based on your body density, we can calculate your body fat. So this is almost like underwater weighing, but it's done with air instead of water. So the, I'll show you the process as we go. Okay, great. Welcome to the bod pod. Please open the door. Now first I need to calibrate the bod pod. Okay. 
What's happening when it calibrates it is it's actually calculating the empty volume. And a change in volume is then going to be reflected by carry, and that will be for calculated body volume. So it's empty minus taken up equals carries body volume. There's three requirements too. We can't have jewelry on her. We're going to put her in a swim cap and then we're going to make sure that she stays still.